Hi everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our third episode of Inspiration with Inez. This series is dedicated to wedding planning and inspiring conversations about your wedding planning. So today we're talking to Troy Williams, who after a 14 year tenure as a publicist for Warner Brothers Pictures launched his own event planning uh, company called Simply Troy Lifestyle and Events. Troy is celebrated for creating incredibly personalized events for celebrity, corporate, charity, and social events and has been honored by Biz Bash, Harper's Bazaar, and Brides Magazine, and more for his impressive event designer skills. Today, we're talking to him to inspire every area of your wedding planning and to learn how to make your wedding an event. So let's bring in Troy. We're just waiting for him. Thanks everyone for joining. Hello. Hi. Oh. Hi, Troy. How are you? I'm good. I want to make sure. There we are. Good. Got it. You, you look great. Thanks for joining. Thank you. How are How you? How are you? Well, I was going to say, we're here in Los Angeles. We're all uh, whiny today because we're like, oh, it's 51. It's so cold. <laughs> and then you're up there like that summer shorts and t-shirt weather. <laughs> yes, it is. It totally is. Well, thanks for making us in Canada feel a little bit colder, but that's okay. You're still yeah. wearing a sweater. I, I told you. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cold. It's so <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining today. So many of our brides are really excited to hear what you have to say. Oh. We've, we both had the great I pleasure. <laughs> yeah, say hi to them. Hello, hello, hello. It's 22 degrees here, Denise, Victoria. I think that was 70. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I pay attention, y'all. I watch. Yes. Oh. yes, you'll have to stop me if there's something that uh, we need to call out for sure. I see my Troy. Brizzo. Hi, Brizzo. <laughs> there you go. Troy, you look great. Hi, Troy. <laughs> oh, hey, hi, everyone. This that's... is what quarantine does, y'all. You stay home, you take care of yourself. You know, that's what you do. Well, you must have, you must give us some tips at the end of how you're looking so great because it's definitely working for you. Well, you kick your kid out of here, out of your studio <laughs> when he's wrapping up PE class. I'm like, I got to get out at one o'clock. You're good. Go, go run in the yard. <laughs> Daddy's got to get up and it's the story. <laughs> Instagram. Right. You have an eight-year-old. I have a nine-year-old. I don't think he would listen if I kicked him out, which is why I had to do it at the studio. <laughs> well, it looks nice. I like, you know, all the Thank dresses. you. Thank you. So, Troy, we had the pleasure of working together on The Bachelor at Ashley's Yakinetti's wedding, along with Lavella Bridal in Glendale, California. What was oh, your... Lavella. Hi, Lavella. Oh. oh, Dad is the star. <laughs> what was your favorite moment of planning her big day? You know what? Uh, I, and I've said this many times. I still to this, you know, after a year after this wedding, year and a half now, um, that they're just kind, good people. I love them to death. And people ask me all the time, are they like that? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, they are. They're super kind, dear friends to this day. Um, you know, I was texting with them last night. Uh, I love them. They're good people. And they made it fun because they got it. And my number one thing that I love is making things so personalized. And they loved all the personalization. They were there for it. They lived for it. I lived for it with them. Um, it just makes your job as a planner so much more fun when people come on board. And I always say, I'm like, don't hire me if you're not going to trust me. <laughs> like, yeah. end of story. Like, number one thing with a planner, like, know who you're going to hire going into it. Know that you're going to buy. Make sure. I always say your photographers and your planners, um, and you have to have that rapport with them a good vibe because there's so many big emotions uh, on a wedding day when it's high highs, exciting, you're crying, you're laughing. There's always some kind of family or friend drama somewhere going on. So, <laughs> so oh, true. It's always a good balance. It's always a good balance, but yes. That, that really um, was one of the questions that I had. When you work with a bride, how do you start the process? Is planning typically centered around the dress, the location, the theme? How do you approach that? 
for me, hands down, anything. And this, this is funny. This is my social, my wedding, my events, my corporate clients. It always begins with the story. I'm a visual storyteller. That's my life. That's what I love to create. And for me, everything is based off of the story, that couple's story, their love story, the details of that. And then once you start building from there, then you can grab the dress and the other details and the menu and the special touches and the late night foods and the, all the little things that make their love story unique to them. Um, I'm not in the process of, you know, cookie cutter things. I don't. I don't do tons of weddings every year. I do specific ones. And for me, those are the people I get to focus on and tell that story. Um, right. Just like, you know, an author doesn't, you know, crank out, <laughs> you know, 20 books a year. I don't do 20 weddings a year. It's just not my thing. You know, I like to, you know, work with people who are going to be fun to work with. You're there with them for a year. Well, with COVID now, some of my couples, it's like two plus years we're working together. <laughs> you right. Know, as right. so many of my planner friends around the country know. Um, but, uh, you know, you have to have that... Um, I want to work with good people. I want to work with people who are enjoyable and fun and, um, and bring stuff to the table and who are open um, and don't want something. I'm never going to give you something cookie cutter. So I don't want to work with a cookie cutter couple. Um, right. All, you know, I want to have fun with you and you with me. And when we were talking about Ashley Akinetti's wedding, you had mentioned something um, in one of our previous conversations was that we are a community and we're there to help each other and support each other. So there, there was one of those memories where you had said that you were there and you were helping to like arrange her train and you know, you're, you're involved in everything in the wedding and thank you for supporting us. This is, I was going to say, I love it's, I keep this photo in my studio. There's so many Rebecca Yale, amazing wedding photographer did so many beautiful um, photos uh, from that wedding. People mm -hmm. Magazine, all, Style Me Pretty, you've seen them all over. <clears throat> but um, a, a picture she captured that I love, and Lord knows I could have all the perfect ones. The one right. that I have in my studio that I love is this, uh, is this one, if you can see. Whoop, that I oh, love. I love that one. Look at that. Because it oh, always that's... Goes, that's what our job as planners are, is to take care of your couples. Where oh, they... yeah, put it a little closer so we can see it. Where wow. They're, they're really... For... We're there for service and, you know, they smile on their face. Jared's like, you're always taking care of us. I'm like, I'll always have your back. Um, and, you know, I just, I love this. So anyways, this is in my studio. I love it. It's definitely, you know, then there's the pretty, you know, then there's the pretty perfect, <laughs> you know. Right, right. That's yeah. gorgeous too. Yeah, oh, that, also, I love that. Also, your dress is, go I mean, the dress against that is gorgeous. She know. makes it beautiful. Super fun. That's so what advice do you have for brides to be that are watching right now? What are the key things that they should ask when they're interviewing a wedding planner and determining if they're the right fit? Um, definitely for me, I always need to know that your planner is going to stay calm under pressure. So how right. do they handle that? Um, how do they handle, um, you know, big dramatic, so, you know, if, it, if it's a big wedding or different personalities, I always say that we're planners, we're also therapists. So tell me all the stuff. I'm the keeper of many secrets. So I need to know about the family stuff. I need to who to take care of, who to be watching over at the bar, who shouldn't be at the bar. <laughs> we need to, you know, our team needs to be all over everybody. And you have to trust us because right. at the end of the day, if there's not a trust between both of us, then it's not going to happen. You know, it's just, it's not going to feel right in the day. Right. Um, also, they're aesthetic, <laughs> you know, don't, um, you know, if you know that I'm not in over the top, great. I mean, I shouldn't say that there's things I do that are over the top, but you know, <laughs> you get an idea of what my aesthetic is and how I love to design and I do different things creatively. Um, but you know, I'm never going to be, you know, that designer who does something that's like, you know, crazy amounts of you know something that's just like not my taste you know level um, right you know, know what you're coming into it's not it's like buying a house you're like hi this is my traditional charming house and i want super you know clean line modern and it's like wait where's the disconnect <laughs> be clear about what you're thinking what you're wanting and if the, if you think 
that the designer, the planner, is going to be able to execute that. You um, have to be aligned, definitely. You've got to be aligned. Completely. Um, yeah. So I just think those are very important. And that, um, you know, I'm someone who is very, I tell them this up front all the time. I'm like, be honest with me. Don't be passive aggressive. Don't sit there and be like, we get to the wedding and then you get, you know, something I could have fixed, you know, a month ago or two weeks ago or even 24 hours ago. Don't sit there and stew and be passive aggressive. It is a recipe for disaster. It's not going to be good on my end to your end or vice versa because you're going to get upset and I'm going to get upset because I'm like, why didn't you say something? Um, luckily, right. none of my have ever been like that. They're always, we're, we get it. We always have a good um, open line of communication because it's great for me to the couple, me to my photographers, me to my videographers. Mm -hmm. um, you have to play together. It's a team always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So how you work with your vendors and um, know how that you, there's enough stories in our industry. You can get an idea and a feel of the kind of person somebody is and how they handle people and treat them with respect and gratitude um, uh, in our industry, how they treat the world, um, how they are at um, respecting stuff around us. Um, Black Lives Matter, if they're thinking of different things in this world um, besides themselves. Um, exactly. At the end of the day, you have to have empathy and you need to be able to respect everything. And I get it in your head. Your wedding is a chapter of your story. It's not your whole story. And it's a great day. It's going to be a great chapter of your love story. But there's much more stuff to life than just the wedding. And some people get lost in that. I feel like a lot of people have learned during COVID um, what's important more so. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, if you're getting married for someone, it's for a lifetime. So right. anything that's going to be, you know, pushed a year or two years, it's fine. It's a small blip in the timeline of your love story. I love that. So, yeah. So make sure you're aligned. Uh, make sure that you you have you you express yourself and you are upfront yes. with your event planner and that your perhaps your ethics are aligned or are I guess understood so that you're on the same page. So you know I think that's a really uh, very valid now. I think there's more people who will say they want to know where their money's going and mm -hmm. you know you want to be conscious of that. If you're someone who's very environmentally conscious and then all of a sudden you're hiring like Exxon to do like your catering, you know, like, <laughs> yes. you're like that doesn't make sense, people. Um, right. So be conscious of that, you know, and know where you want to spend your money and come to the table too. That's something I always, um, I think brides and couples always think they come to a planner and just say, have all the answers. Now, what we're really good at is, yeah, we do have a lot of contacts, ideas and stuff, but we're also really great at knowing how to uh, maneuver around, be flexible, how to discover new things, or you present us with something new and we can be like, oh, I haven't seen that. Let me, um, let me look into that. Um, let me explore it. And that's great. I love when I get introduced to something new or different um, from the couples. Um, sometimes I feel like people just think, boom, everything's there. And it's no, even the people who don't want to plan anything still have ideas. Um, and right. that's fun. And those ideas can spark inspiration in us, the florist, design, you know, all of the different players in it. Um, it can all be a part of the process and a part of the collaboration. Um, because at the end of the day, you want to, when it's done and the pictures are out and the videos are done and you, that's the memories you have, you want everyone, the vendors and everybody to have a great experience in, you know, wedding Wednesdays, throwback Thursdays, two years later, five years later, 10 years later. Um, you know, it's been what, seven years, seven years, eight years, uh, you know, Twitch and Allison's wedding I did back in 2013. I still throw those photos up and we're still loving and sending the love and everyone loves, you know, you want that. You want to, when they tag you or when they, um, pop your name or, you know, your planner's name pops up in the feed again. You all want to be, oh my God, that was so fun. They're amazing. Or, you know, right. that photographer was great. They're going to take our baby photos. 
or yeah. oh, you know what this is what we want to do for our first birthday for our oldest son like um let's grab our wedding videographers and have them record it this day or you know there's just there's a lot of different chapters to the love story I love I love seeing uh, the comments that are coming up. And they're saying that we love you. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> but um, I think you really make it. I, I think you really make the point of saying that you want to make this experience really special for them, so that you relive it again and again. You want to be proud of it. You want to look back on it and constantly think. You know, I loved the way I celebrated with my group or you know however well, big also fun because i see on there right now hi mom and dad <laughs> and, forever. Um, and you know what it's fun to go back and look at their story my parents stories so someday you may be young couples now but someday you will have kids and build a family and those later parts of your love story and you want to show them and say this is what i was what i looked like or if you're an 80s bride and you had the big shoulder pads and the big <laughs> hair and you're like, wait, what did we do? Or <laughs> right? A lot of my girlfriends who've been bridesmaids, and so I always love when they're like, "I love my girlfriend, but I hate my girlfriend for putting me in that." Dress. <laughs> <laughs> bridesmaids love their dresses. I mean, I've seen right. some for Fourth of July wedding put their bridesmaids basically in like red, white, and blue gingham ball no. gowns, <laughs> and I was like, "What is this? No, no." Crazy. Makes well, sense. that that might you might have already touched on some of this, but one of the questions was, what are the, some of the challenges you face as a wedding planner? What would you say is the hardest thing to achieve when you're working with a bride? Um, sometimes here's the deal. <laughs> All brides listening, let's just cut to the chase, people. Your Pinterest vibe that you have found on Pinterest. Sometimes when you come bring it to the table. It's not going to happen, no matter why it can't be like this. Well, sometimes you have champagne taste on a beer budget. Sometimes your beautiful flowers back here that look perfect in an air-conditioned, freezer, frozen like room that's been, you know, photographed perfectly is not going to work in an August high humidity, direct sunlight, and everything's going to wilt and die, or flowers are out of season. So. Right. Again, manage the expectations. That's also on the planner. Like you have to be upfront and tell people um, like, mm, that's not gonna be possible. Or hey, by the way, this is, uh, you know, this is not really <laughs> gonna be um, <laughs> possible whatsoever. Uh, right, right. And of course, this is, hey. of course, it's the call that I'm like, really? You have to call? <laughs> that's okay, you're popular. It's fine i'm like <laughs> so maybe they'll call back i hope they call back oh, wow. they will they'll call back i would call you back it's the government so it's one of the, <laughs> like dealing with a you know one of my business things. i was like oh come on this, uh, two hours on a phone call just tell me what i have to do right perfect timing perfect timing. A, few, a few years ago we saw some big trends you know there was when the firework trend came um, what do you see? What are your predictions for 2021 and beyond? I think once everything's safe and people feel safe again um, to party responsibly and safely and freely, um, they're going to celebrate big. I mean, it, we've waited a long time. We've been stuck in our homes for a long time. They're going to want the big bands and the late night dancing, even more so than what we're usually used to, because I feel like people have been pent up really crazy. Yeah, um, yeah. For me though, I was like, make sure you have tasteful experiences. You really give everybody um, those great fun moments that they'll, re they'll live and talk about um, and have fun with it, have fun. Um, because it is, you know, we've realized what got taken away from us. And, you know, it is what it is. We all had to take care of the people around us. A lot of people are dealing with lost loved ones um yeah. in the world and it's devastatingly sad and so again you have to remember what's super important um to um celebrate uh later on when we can do it and you know i think that's later in 2021 and definitely 2022 i think you're right definitely last year did teach us 
that valuable lesson um, about those things that we did take for granted. And I think you're right. We, we have this pent up. I know for me, I just long for the time where I can just like hug a group of like four or five people that I love. I hug. Yes, I just hug. hug and like, just tell them how much I care for them and how, you know, how this whole throughout this whole time I've, you know, that's all I've thought about is whenever I talk to a family member, a loved one, a friend, at just how how much I miss them in that way. So yeah, when we get back to that that time, like you said, it's going to be more memorable. It'll be more special because it'll mean more because we had it taken away, right? Yes, completely. And you'll yeah. appreciate it more. You'll just you know you'll realize what's special. I also think that uh, a lot of the micro wedding trends, um, some people are going to really take. They will have an easier time cutting the guest list than they ever did before. People mm -hmm. a lot of times were like, oh, I have to have this. I have to have 250 plus. I have to have it. No, you don't mm -hmm. actually. <laughs> you right, know, right. When you're down um, and under so you can actually see all your guests. And I think some people realize that, okay, it's all good, you know? Um, yeah. And some things too, which we are now very good at live streaming in, in this world. And there are people who legit can't make it. It's kind of fun to be able to offer like, Hey, we're live streaming our wedding. Here you go. You know, so and so is pregnant, and you know, nine months about to deliver, and they can still see their best friend get married. Um, right. Right. And, you know, I wish we had had that. You know, we didn't really have. We didn't do that. You know, Jade was pregnant. Um, one of Ashley's best, you know, bridesmaids, and Jade and Tanner didn't get to come because their baby was about to be born. We had them a video brought in for the reception, but you know, right. live streaming. Yeah. Um, Totally, like, part of the course of our planning experience now. Um, and, yeah, it's a, yeah. I, you know, it's something that I think, uh, it's funny, I just thought of it when I was saying this, that I found for planners and couples moving forward, um, something that don't ever come to the planner and go and say, well, we used to do that. Well, guess what? Yes, we all used to do a lot of things before COVID. <laughs> things are just, <laughs> we're all learning now. So... That's just, right. we're all playing in a, a new sandbox. So let's just all try and do our best to work together and figure it out. Because we all don't have the answers. We're still learning. Absolutely. Absolutely. I just love talking to you. There's a few more questions that I have. I was so looking forward to doing this with you because I feel like I could talk to you for hours. And you totally have me captivated every time right. you give me you know, uh, a prediction or, or just a thought. I'm, I'm, I'm there with you. I love it. What decor elements, this is from one of our brides uh, that left us a, a question. What decor elements sh uh, should couples splurge on to make a statement? Um, you know what, it, you have to know what's important to you. You know, sometimes people love flowers and sometimes you don't. Um, sometimes, you know, you have to know what's important to you or if you want gorgeous furniture for your vignettes and that's where you want your money. Or if you're a total foodie couple and you're like, we want everyone to have this most amazing food experience. Well, maybe, you know, put more into the budget there and maybe you, you have to know where you're going to spend and, you know, what's really important. Some people are like, you know, our hope is so the most important thing. It's such a visual. And other people are like, we're out of there in 20 minutes. I'm good. Like, <laughs> you know, um, how can we repurpose? Uh, <laughs> No. And I always try and think of that too. Like, how do we repurpose? Like, how can we spend the money on this um, and put it somewhere else? I've done that with couples too. You know, it was, I've had couples who've had super, you know, big floral bills before and those floor flowers are going to go to waste. So we've taken them, turned them around, repurposed them and given them out to 400 different hospitals and hospices. The next day is bouquets for people in the hospitals. Um, it's just- Love that and be considerate, be conscious of how you do things. Right. That being said for brides, I will tell you, whether it's the husband or brides, brides, grooms, grooms, I'm, hello, any couples, um, but father-in-laws yeah. or mother-in-laws or father of the brides, mother of the brides and grooms and couples, um, whoever's paying, uh, sometimes that's a little easier way to get that very high floral budget past the finish line. <laughs> We're doing some good, Dad or Mom. We're giving back. And now can I really get this for thirty thousand dollars? Okay, thanks. It's true. It's true. There has to be some kind of like pay it forward element 
But I yeah. like what you said is asking yourself what's important to the couple. Because for one couple, it could be florals. For others, they could be foodies. I love that. I'm also big on um, layering textures throughout, like the feel and the look, as you can see behind me on like levels. Of yeah, things. yeah. Um, I love, like this is from Ashley, like I love a good velvet. Oh, um, nice. So I, I love, love that green. Yeah. Uh, but I'm also someone who, uh, I love tradition, but I also am like, mm, with the rules and stuff sometimes, I don't care, you know, because some people are like, oh, you can only do velvet in the winter months. No, I did velvet at Julianne Huff's wedding in July. And it right. was great because she loved texture like I do. And we love that feel, that tactile when people are dining, even though we're outdoors. And I'm like, great, we're bringing in velvet, let's do it. And we did. And so- Absolutely. Who cares? Right. <laughs> we'll write rules at the end of the day. Break the rules where you can. Yes. Um, I love that. I feel we have two more questions, but I do want to ask if there's if there's anybody that has a question, they could bring those in on their messages so we could read them. Um, I've been here looking at people's comments. I'm like, they fly by. It's so funny. What do you think is the most overlooked planning item? Um, most overlooked planning item? Like in the planning process or? Yeah could be along the way Here's the end of the story no one loves to deal with the budget <laughs> it always, it, <laughs> it's always number one thing that starts to be talked about it'll be the last and after <laughs> it's talked about it's always in the back of everyone's head when you're like and then we'll do this with the flowers and the blah 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 and the design and this and the velvet and the pearl of something and then you're like um i don't know how much that costs but let me get some estimates for you so, right 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 so <laughs> Budget's never the fun thing. I hate the budgets, but whatever. <laughs> we and have, they, to, you know. Yeah. yeah, and they overlook that because they kind of don't want to look at so it. Figure out what your wow moments are. This is another thing that I always tell couples um, that I'm adamant about. Know where your wow moments are. I don't know how other planners are, but I do know every single couple that I've ever worked with. And I will tell them um, that whenever you know we're talking about wow moments or something or if an idea sparks and if i ever get the goosebumps it's done no offense or buts you're doing it don't ask questions no matter if it's two days out from the wedding which has happened before or right. something months out um i am never wrong never ever ever a single time have i been wrong when the goosebumps come up in the brainstorming process and something hits and that moment happens i know that it's going to be magic that day, if I'm feeling it already, because I can see it in my head, how right. I, everything's, my favorite part is when everybody else gets to see what I've seen in my head, long right. before everybody else. Um, that part, uh, I love. I love um, that too. We have much. a question by Victory, by Victoria. How small or big can a budget be? That depends on how many guests. Um, you know, here's the deal. You could have a, you know, Sometimes with the micro weddings, people have been doing 25 people, 20 people, 15 right. person, but they've done still a budget that's like, you know, a, a big budget <laughs> and you're because they're doing a five course gorgeous celebrity chef coming in doing a, a, a dinner experience. It's the experience that you give uh -huh. everyone or the cigar rolling bar over there or everyone's getting, you know, customized craft mixologist cocktails created for them with fresh herbs picked from a garden wall that you've brought in, um, you know, during the cocktail hour or, you know, fresh donuts made, you know, with your own personalized fillings and whatever, you know, all the different kinds of things right. that you do. It's how you want to, you can spend money on different things. Maybe you're not doing cheaper champagne when you've got a hundred people and all of a sudden, Dom Perry on for everyone. <laughs> right. So really the budget is, you know, again, that being said, don't come at somebody when you're like, hi, my guest list is 400 people and I got $20,000. No. Right, right. <laughs> it's like, not gonna happen. I was right. like, okay, you go figure that out because I'm, I'm not going right. to. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> uh, Mary Abraha, 43, would like to say hello. And then Tropia Josie, my wish is to have you as my planner, Troy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And my husband said, hey, everyone can afford me if they, you know, got the money. 
There you go. Exactly. Well, we but know that, that in all honesty, though, there's so many things that from my high end weddings to much smaller weddings, I do all kinds of things. Um, from small right. events to gift box creations. I okay. like working with people um, who are creative. I've done things differently before for people who maybe couldn't have afforded me type of thing. But if there's a story and a really good circle of life moment that happened with a couple I'm thinking of, um, I was like, oh, I want to be a part of that. Because Aww. it's fun for me too. Because if it's right. something that has meaning, um, the couple I'm thinking of is a great couple, same-sex couple, and they were able to get married in a new place of a hotel where my husband and I got married years before on the same weekend that it became legal in the entire states for same-sex couples to get married. Um, and it was like, you know, a month of planning, and I was like, oh, no, I want that. I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> we'll right, make right, it right. For you because I want to be a part of that story. Um, I love that's it. Fun. You know, for me, too, telling a story and being a part of a story when it can get me excited to do something different and something fun, um, I'll make it work. That made me that made me laugh because, um, or not laugh, but it actually made me think about how we don't just do things because it, it isn't just a job. It's actually, like you said, it's about living each day meaningful uh, with meaning. And that particular couple had that had that struck that you know that important chord with you so i love that thank you for sharing that it'll give some people hope if the stars are aligned they could have simply troy as their wedding planner or event planner so i always say i'm like how i got started in hollywood and everything was i just picked up phones and i cold called i never had a problem great what someone's gonna tell me no oh well big deal um so it's the people who go into anything with a negative mindset and don't ever allow them that opportunity, great. If it came to be, we tell the story and it's like, okay, um, no, it's not gonna work for us, you know, for whatever reason, but it was so nice talking to you, but maybe check this out or here's an idea or, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, so put yourself out there and take a risk because you never know what's on the other side, right? And also, that's also something too that um, people forget is that, you know, I can do consulting for people. So sometimes they can plan everything, pay me a couple hundred dollars and we'll get on a phone and a FaceTime. And I'm like, great, let's go over your plans. What about this? What, how do this moment? That's cute. Do that instead. You know, like that's the kind of thing too people never think of that they can do. And for mm -hmm. me, I'm like, I can do it right here, right now. What you see, <laughs> like that's what we do. Let's look at your stuff. Send me your, okay, have you done this yet? Blah, blah, blah. And so maybe I won't be there handholding you that day, you know, being under, you know, being under your dress. Um, <laughs> but, uh, which I will say real quick, sorry, funny, being a, that picture was not taken, but I will never forget and laugh so hard. Ashley's dad, Ashley and I heading to the church. That dress was so, the ball <laughs> yeah. was so big. And the three of us were in this old hotel in Newport, Rhode Island. The one time I wish we had a photographer with us because her mic pack fell and it was on the garter and I had to go under her dress and I was literally <laughs> jumping up her leg and her dad's there and he's like, if it was anybody else, Troy, I'd have an issue with this, but I'm totally fine. <laughs> and Ashley was like, I love this moment so much, so much, because she loved the process. She loved the planning. She loves um, watching Simply Troy be Simply Troy. Um, I love it. Do they love when I get to be in my moment or when it turns on, whatever that is. You know, I'm in my moment, so I don't know. But they love yeah. to watch when I get to do what I do. Yeah, you're creative, you know, genius. And, you know, being able to let someone guide you and let them, you know, express that without micromanaging them every step of the way. I feel, you know, I've seen that in in what we do as well, that there has to be a level of trust and, you know, allow. So that's so important with vendors and stuff, because here's the deal. I can come up with some crazy idea all I want, but guess what? I'm not out there, you know, banging the wood together to build, you know, a 12 foot truss, <laughs> you know, right. um, I know who to get to that. And I know the people the people, the vendors and people I've curated or worked with, or even when I get with new people, um, new vendors that, cause you're always gonna have new vendors pop into your, your planning world. Um, right. 
don't ever tell me that it's not your job, like at all. I think if everyone is all hands on deck, a water pipe is burst. Caterers and planners and photographers and everyone's grabbing stuff and you know, everyone's doing it. And I see somebody standing over there and they're like, eh, that's not my job. No, you're gone. Yeah. You'll never be, we will never work together again. Yeah, it's a community. I think that's what also inspired the series, Inspiration with Inez, was for us to, to reach out to those, to those individuals and those people in our community that we work with and, you know, that we've got your back, that you know that if we were in a room together, it would never be, it's not our job, you know, it's... No, and you know what? I love that there's so many people in our industry who are creative. And we've all learned during this time to be doing other things, be, you know, yes, I can plan, but I've also, you know, great, I can set decorate for something. I can do gift boxes. Um, photographers are doing different things. Maybe they're not being destination wedding photographers right now, but they're figuring out other ways to do socially distanced photographs for families, for the holidays and things. You know, everyone's been thinking maybe they can do lifestyle products or things that are um, helping, you know? Um, What's your thoughts on the band's wardrobe alignment with the room design? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I love your name, Troy, but uh, Troy Curtis Orchestra. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. I, I don't, if I've got a giant Gatsby event happening and the people come in like polos and khakis, not happening. No, right. <laughs> My, I'm literally designing all the time to how the cater waiters look, how the, the orchestra is playing in place, um, come dressed to impress, when we're there in those moments. Um, Anne Atelier, my wonderful, I love them photographers. They know how to dress to my event to a T. They come in, I like people who um, disappear in the thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't ever want my photographers or my videographers, if I'm in a sea of, um, you know, blush and khakis and whites and all the guests were asked to dress like that and then all of a sudden my photographer and my videographer are wearing all black hell no yeah <laughs> you look like a sore thumb and you look like you didn't get the invitation and that's ad i'm adamant about that like no i want you to blend into the room so like when the photographer is taking the pictures and all of a sudden the drone hits overhead looking down you don't see the black dot of everything you know that drives oh. me crazy I crazy. love that. That actually, if there was one of the, uh, there's a question here. Thoughts on bridesmaids not having bouquets for ceremony and pictures. Totally fine. Right? Yeah. yeah. That being said, every single woman better have beautiful jewelry or beautiful, their nails done, looking great, you know, and know how to handle themselves in the photos, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing is, um, you know, whether they're being walked down with, you know, another bridesmaid or a groomsman or whatever, know that again, your focus, if it's not there, and your house should be done anyways, no matter what people. For <laughs> Don't sure. be property on a wedding day without all head to toe being done. For sure. Yeah, so create a cohesive experience, something magical, something Details to remember. Everywhere, because guess what? Just because, I always say this, my client, you know, the bride and groom or the, cu the couple, the wedding couple, um, Yes, they're your client and they're the top of the food chain, but it doesn't matter. It's whether it's that five-year-old niece over there or 95-year-old grandma in the wheelchair who's at the edge of the dance floor. You need to make sure they're all thought of, um, appreciated. Uh, if you have some crazy beach wedding going on, well, guess what? We need to know ahead of time if Aunt Jane just had hip surgery and is not gonna be make it, make it out there on that uneven grass. Someone's in a wheelchair. How many steps are we getting down to certain areas? Okay, they're not going to be able to get to the cocktail hour. How do we get them up there? You always need to be thinking about all of the guests to give the whole guest experience and not just a wedding couple experience because it's all of that comes together again. We'll tell the whole story. I love that. I mean, just how granular um, and detailed you get when cool. you're actually throwing an event and how you're thinking about it from everybody's perspective. I feel like your aim is to make sure that everybody walks out saying, you know, at the end of the night or, or in the morning for however long it lasted, that that was incredible. And there was no detail that was overlooked. No, I take great pride in that. And I hear it a lot when I do a bar bar mitzvah and that always makes, <laughs> especially in LA, when different uh, people who've been on the circuit for a long time and they'll always be like, 
you know what, I usually hate these things, but this is a damn fun <laughs> part. Thank you very much. I, I like that compliment. I'll take it. I love that. You make me laugh so hard. Okay, well, I feel like it's like it's been 42 minutes and I feel like I've only talked to you for five. I could talk to you for another 40. Is you're like, one... we're only going to talk for like eight minutes. I'm like, I say, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, you're like, right. all right. <laughs> I blocked off the time for you. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. I think there's so many good nuggets here that honestly, for brides to, to watch this, there's so many takeaways. Is there one thing that you want to leave everybody with in terms of a, a tip, a suggestion, advice? It's who I am and everybody knows. Be kind to people and be grateful. End of story. You know, um, Everybody's dealing with different things in this world. Don't sit there with the expectation that your wedding is the curing cancer in the world, because it's not. It's a beautiful moment, it's a great moment, but be kind and considerate of other people. Know if somebody's dealing with a sick parent or um, someone just had a baby and maybe they're not gonna get back to your answers right now. You know, Just be flexible, because at the end of the day, it'll get planned, it'll get, um, It'll get uh, taken care of. Um, and remember, we're professionals for a reason. Mm -hmm. And even though you're stressing out about it a year and a half out, in all honesty, when you work with professionals and the teams that we have, we could pull your wedding off in two weeks if we needed to. So that just put that in perspective, um, because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't think of it that way, but we can. So you can quickly pivot in terms of time. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like I, I love that because that's really, that's really all we really have is we do need to be kind. And Troy, I can't wait. The last time we saw each other was at the Baccarat Hotel. I hope to have the opportunity to see you again. I'm going to give you such a big hug. And that was a beautiful event too. Not, yeah. That's one of my favorite photos of Nairi and I too. We look so yeah. well. They, it was it felt like fire. We had this great jackets on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was such a good photo. Now I'm looking. I know I can find that photo. I'm like, I know that photo. Oh, you I need to, yes, you do need to find it. I love it so much. But I know, I, hugging is one of my big things. I just, that's who I am as a person is I'm a hugger. I always have been. And to this time frame has been hard. It's been very hard. Yeah, uh, it's been hard. But we'll I, do it again. We will. Yeah. And I look forward to that. And going to New York. I haven't been on a plane since last February. Isn't um, that crazy? Yeah. It's so just... Everyone's got different levels of what they feel safe about. And, you know, I don't feel safe until we're, can, yeah. you know, old. And at the end of the day, I have a family. And, you know, they are the most important. My job is great. I love it. I'm grateful for it. But it's not the all, end all and be all of who I am. Um, <laughs> and, you know, that's something very important to have learned during... COVID and all of this. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. That we've got to be safe Not and too. we'll, 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 we'll have virtual hugs until we can do that again soon. I would love virtual hugs. And I think I found it. Hang on. I've okay. Got I've got my pick people. Give me a second. I can't, I can't. <laughs> we can give you a second. Well, this there's is a, fun. there's some really good comments uh, that came through. So, that oh, that's, that's, that's so good. Ashley love loves it. it. We were like in the church planning something. That one makes me laugh, actually. That's so <laughs> I love that, you know. And that's the thing, too, for me. I get all the photos that people never get to see. Woo! You know, yes, yes. you're the best wedding photographers and stuff, but it's very fun to uh, have your hand all over um, the, the photos that nobody could ever get except for me. Like, those yeah. are the moments I love, too. And... Um, Oh, here we go. I knew I had it. Bam. There we go. Oh, that's such a good photo. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, you guys gave us a great, you know, setting. Um, there's what well, Gina, like there's the back yeah. rock. Like they're great, like the roses. Like, oh it was yeah. It was a great setting. Oh, and someone God. said, Thank you. Uh just started the planning process and this is very informative. I loved that jacket. You that's looked so great. Looking so, forward to when we can do it again, Troy. I love it. Thank you for having me. And everybody, thank you so much. I send big hug. There's my hug. <laughs> thank my you. Hug. All right. Everyone. We'll do it again soon. Mwah. Bye. Kind, ah. thank, thank you. Bye. Bye.